Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're going to react to the best of Peggy Bundy from Married with Children. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm going to get copywritten for this. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. They're going to copyright me immediately. Immediately. Oh. Mm. Oh. This is so sad. No girl. Look at her. Every year no it's the same thing. Yep. The birthday hop. She'd learn. I mean, every year she turns on the oldie station, cranks it up real loud, and dances the dances of our forefathers. Oh, forefathers is disrespectful, children. What's I don't remember like ever saying things like that. I'm sure I thought it, or maybe I did say it. I don't remember it, but like my daughter does the same thing. Like she says, when you were born back in the olden days, or were you alive when Abraham Lincoln was alive? It's like, girl, I know your concept of time is a little wonky because you're young, but Abraham Lincoln. Okay, I want to go back. Um, this the the audio to the song may have been muted um, for copyright reasons, and it's it's just the way of the land, y'all. You know this by now. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And yes, it's altered again for copyright reasons. This is something that aired on television, so I cannot just take it and put it on my channel as if I am the creator of it. Um, <clears throat> When I did the Al Bundy uh, montage a few days ago, I was enamored by Peggy. And I mentioned to you guys that I have definitely seen this show before when I was younger, but wasn't like ever sitting down really watching it. Um, and I definitely don't think I would have appreciated Peggy for who she was until I was my own grown woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a grown woman. This is a woman of divine female energy right here. I mean, look at the shape, honey. It's giving hourglass. It's giving Coca-Cola glass bottle. You have the, some might say loud, some might say tacky. Me, I think it's exquisite. This leopard bodysuit that's fit to her body the high waist capri leggings which have made its comeback in fashion you know everything comes back around with fashion and right now i'm like obsessed with a pedal pusher capri legging and baby she's got heels on in the kitchen full glam hair and makeup this is femininity i'm just saying like look at her and then she's got the nerve to be jamming out to some aretha franklin what's not to love She, I feel like she's asking me to rise to the occasion. Do I need to do a full beat before I make this salmon for dinner tonight? Peggy, I feel you. I feel you. Forefathers, though, children, disrespectful. I think she'd learn. I mean, every year she turns on the oldie station, cranks it up real loud, and dances <coughs> the dances of our forefathers. That is so weird. Oh, and then she realizes how old she is and gets depressed. Watch. Well, remember that one? If you do, you must be a hundred, because it was over 20 years ago. That was uh, for you, Grandma. Grandma! You were very brave, Al. Uh, wasn't anything that anybody else with the heart of a lion wouldn't have done. I mean, you should have seen me, Peg. Yeah, I was a little nervous. But I got him right between the eyes, and I'll tell you, there's not a lot of space between those eyes. I don't know who he's talking about, but okay. It was a nice shot, Al. <laughs> you want to go upstairs? Yeah. You don't suppose that's Stephen Marcy? Peggy, Al, oh, It's them. What are you going to tell them? I don't know. But if they don't bring it up, we don't bring it up. What did they shoot? One of their animals? 
Hey, Stephen, Marcy, what brings you two crazy kids over here? We heard a shot. Hey, Peg, look who's here. It's Stephen, Marcy from next door. <laughs> they heard a shot, Peg. Peg. Did you say anything tonight, Peg? Peg. Uh, Peg. What was that you said you came over here for? We thought we heard a shot, Al. Yeah, yeah. They thought they heard a shot, Peg. Did you hear a shot? <laughs> Say something, Peg. Peg. Well, I think if there'd been a shot, their dog would have started barking. Peggy, what are you doing? I'm getting... She gave it away. That may be one of my only times, like, because I feel like, especially in that montage, he was always, he being Al was so mean to Peg, and you could, you saw them having a, like, little intimate zegzy moment. And um, I don't know how often that happened on the show, but it felt, like, rare, right? She dead gave it away. I don't know, but they would have heard their dog. He really shot the dog. Their dog would have started And it barking. turned her on? <laughs> Peggy, what are you doing? I'm getting myself a VCR. <laughs> I see. No, you don't. You're not a housewife. You have your own money. I have to use strategy. You see, when you first get married, you can withhold sex. But then they get to like that. <laughs> so you have to put a little spin on the ball. <laughs> You see, I have to pretend to clean to remind Al how hard my work is. He'll come in that door any minute, sit down in the couch, put one hand down his pants and the other hand here on this VCR ad. Uh, excuse me, Peggy. But Smart. why don't you just say, honey, I want a VCR? Because Al works very hard for his money and he deserves me to work equally as hard to get him to spend it on me. <laughs> <laughs> to continue, he'll say, to why continue. do we need a VCR? Because you want to watch Phil and tape Oprah? Huh. I mean, everyone knows that you watch Oprah and tape Phil. Who's Phil? Because I know it's not Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil didn't have a show then. Dr. Phil got his show like when I was in high school, I feel like. Um, I fear that if this show were running today, it would be met with a lot of the, you know, feminist, anti-masculine, uh, you know, patriarchal, like, you, you know, all the like, women are not just housewives. But here's the thing. So many women strive to stay at home and be a housewife, a, a stay at home mother. It's like what they've always wanted. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think there needs to be space for those women too, just like there needs to be space for women who want to go out into the workforce or do whatever it is. Um, but I just, you know, you know, in today's cancel culture, I wonder how this would have been received. You have a woman who's proud to be a housewife and she's like, I have to make my husband want to spend his money on me. He works so hard. And it's like some women, if you ask me, I'm going to say some women in healthy relationships have this attitude. But that's just my opinion. Everyone knows that you watch Oprah and tape Phil. <laughs> Man, God love them. They're just children with paychecks. So I'll that's so accurate. for a while and I'll get my VCR. <clears throat> but don't you find this demeaning? Just the part where I have to explain it to you. <laughs> Burn. Oh, there's Burn. his car. I better get going. Oh, no, stick around. You might lose your job someday and have to be a woman. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. I didn't hear you pull up. She's How was got your it day? down to a science. I sell shoes, okay? <laughs> Jeez, it stinks in here. Oh, well, what's for dinner? <laughs> Clockwork. Gee, I don't know. Let's see. <gasps> Son of a gun. They're having a sale on VCRs. What are those? Video something recorders. It's <laughs> a good Play price, down. isn't it? It's not bad. You know, if we had one of these, you could tape the Cubs game while you were at work. Come on, you just want one because Phil and Oprah are on at the same time and it's killing you. <laughs> oh, please, Al, please, can I have one? Bye. Bye. 
back. No, wait. I was so invested in that episode. Go back. Go back. I need to see. It was so good. Okay. Why the heck is she hogtied? Get into the look, guys. Look, at it's it's so gaudy, but it is fashion. I, I like that's what I love about it. It's like it's like mob wife fashion. It's over the top. It's flamboyant. It's gaudy. It it could lean towards tacky, but like it's so put together for her that it's fantastic. And I love I'm gonna be Peggy for Halloween next year. And I never dress up, but I'm sold on her. I love her. Oh please, Al, please can I have one? <laughs> What? Please, please, Mr. Maniac. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'll take care of you. Oh, yeah, sure. You tourists, you can't even take care of yourselves. No, 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 no. Believe me, I am really good at, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? Housework? That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I like my place clean. I was born to clean. Oh, Lord. Dusting, I'm the best. Polishing, legend. And uh, what do you call those things? You know that you, you push across the rug and they go... Whoa. A vacuum? <laughs> A vacuum? I feel naked without one. Then you'll definitely have one. What about sewing? What about it? Do you do it? Happily. Washing? Your clothes? <laughs> I'd be proud. Blood stains, no problem. Um, <laughs> how about cooking? Oh, now we are really talking my life. Yep, just put me in front of a hot stove on a summer day. Four burners going, grease splattering Miserable. into my face, Miserable. mixing with all the sweat. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Just I don't kill do me. any of that stuff. I don't do anything. I'm a housewife, damn it. Oh. <laughs> but look. I feel sorry for you. I know what it is to be alone. I have a husband and two kids. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but I don't go around killing them. <laughs> I mean, I might if I didn't have a TV. <laughs> you know, that could be the answer for you, too. Look, the next time that you get this killing urge, just do as I do. Grab yourself some bonbons, take the phone off the hook, pick up the old remote control, and remember, don't kill, watch Phil. So clean. I hate Phil. You are sick. Where were we? We were neutering the dog, Al. Oh, but honey, before you take him down, could you ask him for a few pointers? Oh. Well, Shame. one thing that seems to work for him was, there was no one lying there yelling a bunch of instructions at him. Well, you obviously didn't pay any attention to those charts I put up in the bathroom. That was like shot for shot for sh blow for blow for... B this is healthy marriage. I'm sorry. If you can't go toe for toe with your spouse, there's just no fun. There's no fun there. Everybody got to light it up. This is fantastic. I'm sorry. This is... Great television. I need to go and start from episode one. It's just so good. Well, I thought that meant put the clothes in the hamper. <laughs> You've been missing that too, Al. Uh, guys, please. Uh, look, Al, why don't you just take him down, get him neutered, and be done with it? Because I'm not neutering him. Oh, come on, Al. It is no big thing. I thought she didn't put this. Al, you'll really be doing him a favor. I read that neutered dogs live longer, they're calmer, and they're more affectionate. <laughs> Makes them more affectionate, huh? <laughs> he won't even notice after a while. Believe me, Mars, it's the kind of a thing a guy would notice. Oh, come on, Al, it is a simple, painless operation. <laughs> she put in whole radishes in that salad. Look at this outfit. Did he really give you a massage? Well, it was more like he kind of bumped into me. But you know, when you're married to Al, that is a massage. Go on, go on. Well, then he said, leave your husband. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Come with me, and we'll enjoy a life of fast living, fast cars, and fast food. He actually said that? Well, his exact words were, excuse me, ma'am, but it was the way he said it. Delusion. Oh, I envy you, Peggy. Delusion. My only brush with destiny was when Clark Gable came to me in a dream and said, keep your own teeth as long as you can. <laughs> then 
Steve's stupid appendix burst and I woke up. That's Steve for you. Now, every time I see that scar, I think what might have been. Come on, Marcy, snap out of it. Huh? Clark Gable is dead. Let's get back to the living. Now, when Elvis comes for uh, me... Pardon me. Could you please show us again how Elvis sneered when he found out your husband sold shoes? <laughs> I feel I need to watch every single one of these episodes. I'm t and it's about to cut off and I'm upset. What? Elvis is not. Elvis has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. Up at uh, This is like the 80s, right? Early 90s? What's happening? Excuse me, Marcy. My public. She's a babe. You can't take these fortune tellers She's seriously. They just make up stuff. Mrs. Bundy? Yes? I found your husband's wallet in the parking lot at the mall. Oh, it's all there, ma'am. I didn't take anything. No, she's oh. going to take it. You know, he will be so happy to hear that there are still some honest people left in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, excuse me, but I came all the way over here on my own time. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he walked all the way over there with the wallet to get tipped. So you didn't do it out of what? People these days. Career day. Party trick. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Oh, fine. Fine. <laughs> I mean, nobody's talking to me or anything, but... Uh... Well, actually, I shouldn't say nobody. A teacher gave me detention for smoking in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, and the girl's gym teacher asked if I'd like to come over and we could comb each other's hair. <laughs> well, if you go, she'll get you out of that detention. <laughs> Look, Kelly, I really thought some of these kids would come over and ask me questions. Oh, her name is Kelly. I must be making you look pretty bad in front of your friends. Don't worry about it, Mom. Most of my friends aren't even up yet. <laughs> well, I know that. But I wanted you to be proud of me, like those other kids are proud of their moms. But you're not like other moms. I mean, I knew that the first day of kindergarten when I opened up my lunchbox and found a dollar bill and a roadmap to Burger King. <laughs> I Bless packed it. that lunch myself. <laughs> but you know, I've been thinking, there must be more to being a good mom than good nutrition. I mean, look, those other kids are learning so much from the other moms. Astro. Okay, those other moms couldn't have taught me how to forge <coughs> that signature. Valuable Well, you know, I can't take credit for that. Bud taught me and I passed it on to you. <laughs> You're very good at that, you know. Thanks. Why, your Al Bundy is worth more than the check it's written on. <laughs> <laughs> She's so subtly shady. Like, if you're not really paying attention, you could miss it. Um, okay, I don't remember much about the kids. Again, I don't think I was really ever able to watch the show or engaged in it too much, but... The daughter seems like she's kind of maybe a little rebellious, a lot carefree. Um, she mentioned her friends aren't even awake yet, which is like, shouldn't they be at school? Um, but she also seems loving and supportive of her mom, um, who now I'm starting to realize Peg maybe never wanted to be a housewife or a mom. Like she just is one of those women that didn't maybe... Uh, come with the natural or maternal instinct and that is a real thing um but she leans into not doing anything which is not a housewife if i if you ask me i don't think that's a housewife that's just a wife that stays home all day because a housewife is a lot of ways is working she's working more than the check it's written on <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when I was seven and I was crying because Bobby Sheckman liked Terry Mall just because she was a blonde? And you ran right out and bought me my first bottle of bleach. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Honey, what is your real hair color? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. What color is yours? Oh. I don't know. You know, it's times like these I wish we'd taken pictures. <laughs> oh, listen. 
Let's go have ourselves a real mother-daughter day. We'll get some popcorn, feed the pigeons, and then walk by a construction site and make them hoot like jackals. <laughs> Too cool for school, oh, Mom. Mom. Hey, excuse me. What do you do? Oh, uh, I don't know. Nothing, really. I watch TV. Well, then how do you make money? Easy. My husband has a job. He brings home a paycheck. And what he doesn't give to me, I take. <laughs> wow! Hey, Becky, come here, you gotta hear this. It's like, we don't have to work? You know, it would be just like you to drop dead in front of this TV the day before my big night out. Huh? God. What a lump of sour milk my life is that I'm actually looking forward to a shoe convention. No, well, I'm not. <laughs> just another place to remind me of my failures, you know. Work, home. Oh! The bedroom. Oh! This is my kind of gal right here. I could just be taking some notes. I'm talking pen and paper because she... This is the type of woman you... you listen. I, I, I just can't even explain how much I love her. The bedroom. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse You're me. You're always there for me when I'm down, aren't you, babe? Oh, I'm nothing special. Just a wife. Mm, you claim. <laughs> anyway, Peg, I'm just not really looking forward to speaking in front of all those people. I mean, who started that tradition that the man who makes the least has to introduce the man who makes the most? <laughs> Honey, sure. you ought to be proud. I mean, no one else has held that honor for seven years in a row. <laughs> Why, hissing and booing you actually <coughs> seems to energize the whole convention. Oh, Jesus. Hey, do you get a special bonus or something if I don't reach 50? Gee, I'm not really sure. I should check. But, honey, I don't want you to ruin this convention for me. It's my big night out. I mean, you have the glamour and excitement of, of the shoe store every single day. She's not been but to I the shoe store. I am stuck here in this house, eating bonbons, watching that TV all day long. You owe me. What's a bonbon? Yeah, you're right. I guess I really just never stop and think of you on my gleeful journey to the Mardi Gras, which is my life at the shoe shop. How can I repay you? Oh. Well, honey, you can do for mommy that thing that great big Al does best for his itty bitty Y. Come on, honey. Do it. Take out the garbage. <sighs> she is everything. Oh, she's everything. I don't know who this lady is. I don't know what she went on to do in her career, but I love her. Um, I mean, how much was Al Bundy making a year to support a whole family as a shoe salesman? I'm interested to know. If you're a show writer on this show, send me the math. Anyway. This was quite enjoyable for me. I hope it was for you as well. And I hope you have the day you deserve. Bye.